Hello viewers, I am Dr. Venela, Consultant ENT Surgeon in Renova Hospital, Langer House in Banjara Hills. Now let's talk about the functional endoscopic sinus surgery, the indications of the surgery and the complications of the surgery. So before going to the functional sinus uh, endoscopic sinus surgery, exactly what is functional endoscopic sinus surgery? Like is functional endoscopic sinus surgery required for every sinusitis or is it required for simple sinusitis or acute sinusitis? So there are various types of sinusitis. So let's talk uh, about this topic now in detail. So functional endoscopic sinus surgery is nothing but removal of the disease from the sinuses and restoring the uh, drainage pathway of the sinuses. So that drainage pathway uh, means uh, the nose, uh, we already know the nose has various functions. It helps in mucociliary drainage that is drainage of secretions into the throat. So if there is a, any blockage uh, to this drainage, the, uh, the patient can present with nasal obstruction and the patient can present with headache because of the uh, accumulation of the pus or fluid in the nose and uh, because of the uh, obstruction to the drainage pathway. See, the structures which help in this mucociliary drainage along with the nose are the sinuses. The sinuses are nothing but air filled cavities in the skull. So the air filled cavities, they are usually filled with air. If they are filled with secretions of the, if they are filled with pus, it is that disease is called sinusitis. If, if there is a sinusitis, the patient can present with severe headache. The patient can present with eye pain because uh, the, there are uh, different types of sinuses like maxillary sinuses which are situated on the cheek and uh, ethmoid sinuses which are present near the eye and the frontal sinuses here and the sphenoid sinus is another sinus where we can see only on the x-ray or CT scan. So this uh, coming to the uh, causes of sinusitis. There are various causes uh, reported for sinusitis. The common causes is nasal allergy. Allergy, it can be mainly in the cities like Hyderabad and all. Uh, so, pollution. Pollution can is a trigger factor for allergy. Recurrent episodes of allergy can cause uh, blocking of the openings of sinuses. And uh, when, when there is acute infection of the sinuses, any acute bacterial infection of the sinuses can cause sinusitis. And chronic bacterial, so untreated uh, acute sinusitis can lead to chronic sinusitis. And also any uh, uh, like uh, mutation, de uh, like defect in associated with immunity. It's like there are some syndromes and uh, uh, which can cause sinusitis. And, and there are also, there are, uh, there is a condition called uh, that extra growth, what you call as a polyp in the nasal cavity. When he, if it is overgrowth of nasal tissue, it can block the openings of the sinuses that is called nasal polyposis. So these are all indications for functional endoscopic sinus surgery. So functional endoscopic, uh, like, like many patients come to us, if I get a one episode of sinusitis, uh, shall I have to go for this surgery? or or it, or it can be treated medically. So, so before going to the surgical aspects, let us discuss about the medical aspects. If the uh, if the patient presents with recurrent episodes of allergy, we try we give the treatment with uh, allergic uh, anti-allergic medications and anti-allergic nasal sprays. So, it depends upon the severity of the disease. The severity of the disease usually it is assessed on the CT scan of the paranasal sinuses and also symptoms and depends on the uh, clinical symptoms that patient is experiencing. So, uh, if the disease is severe, if the, if the patient is not responding to anti-allergic medications, then the, the best treatment for the allergic sinusitis is functional endoscopic sinus surgery. But again, the patient comes to the doctor with uh, like various questions like if the functional endoscopic sinus surgery is done for my nasal allergy and for sinusitis, will it recur? Usually the recurrence is uh, reported rarely, but the recurrence can be there in the case of severe allergy. So like in the patients with severe allergies. So in those cases, we give anti-allergic medications preoperatively and postoperatively to prevent the recurrence. And, um, and for the chronic sinusitis, patients if the if we clear the disease come if the disease clearance is done uh, from the nose and sinuses it usually it will not recur and the patient has to be in the follow-up and we'll do the regular cleanings of the nose in the post-operative period 
and coming to the functional endoscopic sinus surgery, I'll just tell the general indications. It can be done for chronic sinusitis, it can be done for allergic sinusitis, it can be done for a disease called nasal polyposis, it can be done for the fungal diseases of the sinuses, it can also be done uh, as a part in cases of trauma where there is any injury to the orbit and all we have to access the orbit and we can do the orbital decompression and all so uh, usually in the fungal cases like uh, recently we we have we all have seen the black fungus cases so the we we did the aggressive management with the functional endoscopic uh, we did the functional endoscopic sinus surgery aggressively so to treat the uh, mucormycosis so all these are the indications for functional endoscopic sinus surgery so what are the instruments like we use a uh, metal instruments and uh, steel instruments uh, and uh, there is sophisticated instruments and there is a monitor will be there in front of us to guide us and uh, and regarding the anatomy and all and usually we use uh, another powered instruments uh, uh, like uh, uh, micro debrider and we can use a coblator depending on the disease and uh, it can be and the disease can be cleared completely from the nose and sinuses and the patient uh, has to come for post operative follow up to assess the allergy and also to assess the healing of the nasal cavity and we usually do the endoscopy in the post operative period also to assess the healing of the sinuses um, and uh, the patient can be prescribed the nasal saline nasal sprays or anti allergic sprays depend on, depending on his condition so it is a myth that uh, though the sinusitis, though it is treated with functional endoscopic sinus surgery, it, it will recur. The patient has to come out of that. So each disease has a like a different uh, etiology. It has a different pathogenesis. So we have to assess preoperatively according to the disease. And if we follow the protocols, the disease will not recur again. Thank you.